In this video, we'll be testing this Coleman Evanston six-person tent for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this Evanston six-person tent from Amazon, and here's what it looks like out of the box. Inside the package, I got the tent body, the rainfly, 14 stakes in a carry case, four poles in another carry case, and a foot mat. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this Coleman Evanston six-person tent, first grab these two black fiberglass poles for the tent body, which are the longest poles, and insert them into these black tipped pole sleeves at the center of the tent. Then prop both poles up by securing each end of both poles into one of these pins. Also attach all the pole clips. Next grab the grey pole, which is the pole for the screen room. Insert this grey pole into the pole sleeve at the front of the tent, prop the pole up, and secure each end into the pins as well. The pole sleeve is also color-coded with grey tips. Then, attach the two pole clips, one on each side. Now, grab the last rainfly pole, which has these black tips of both ends. Insert it into the rainfly and secure it with the two tiny pockets and two velcro strips. Next, drape the rainfly over the tent with the green part over the screen room and the white part over the dome tent body. Secure these as hooks of the rainfly to the rings at the bottom of the tent where your poles are attached. After that, stake the Evanston tent body down with seven stakes and guy out the entire tent with the seven pre-attached guy lines. It took my bro and I about 9 minutes to set up the entire Evanston 6 person tent, and I set up the entire tent on my own in about 17 and a half minutes, so slightly less than double the time. Taking down the Coleman Evanston six-person tent is just the opposite of the setup and it took my bro and I about six minutes for the entire takedown and pack up. On my own, it took me about 12 minutes, so about double the time. For more details on the setup, takedown, and pack up, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height in this Evanston six-person tent is about 68 and a half inches and I can stand upright here. I'm also able to stand upright even on thick queen mattresses. But this Evanston is a dome-shaped tent though, so the peak height is only at the center. When I take two small steps around the tent, my head would touch the top of the tent, like here. The rest of the tent just slopes downwards too. The length inside the dome tent itself measures about 9 feet and 7 inches, while the width measures about 8 feet and 9 inches, so slightly smaller than the marketed dimensions of 10 by 9 feet. But I could still easily fit 6 regular sleeping pads inside the tent, and here's what having 6 pads looks like. You do have to sleep shoulder to shoulder, but there's still this small space here to fit a little bit of camping gear. I think it's a little bit of a tight fit though, especially if you have to sleep at the corners of the tent because my head touches the wall of the tent when I sit up. I think having four people on two queen-sized camping mattresses would be a much more comfortable fit. And here's what the Evanston six-person tent looks like with these two mattresses. There's also quite a bit of leftover space for storing gear, which is always very nice to have. One of my mattresses is actually slightly smaller than the queen, which is why it fit nicely into the tent. Otherwise, the length of the tent is actually a few inches shy of being able to fit two queen beds. The Evanston six-person tent also comes with this extra screen room. This screen room has a width of about 5 feet, and the longest length is about 9 feet and 7 inches, which is the same as the dome tent. It tapers off a bit at the front though, so the shortest length is only about 7 feet and 4 inches. The peak height in this screen room is only about 62 inches, so even though I could kind of almost stand upright, my head is pushing up on the top of the mesh though. This Evanston six-person tent has three windows in the entire tent. Well, technically four windows if this is considered as two windows. There's one window on each wall of the tent, and the last wall is a mesh wall. All the windows are about the same size. This window measures about 46 by 23 inches, while the double window on this wall here measures about 51 by 21 inches, so only very slightly bigger. Each window comes with a window latch to hold the fabric when the window is opened, two white zippers, and also a bug net to prevent larger bugs from getting in. This Evanston six-person tent has one door on the front length of the dome tent. It measures about 47 inches in length and 26 inches in width, so honestly not very big, and here's what it looks like when I stand in front of it. It also measures about 52 inches from the ground to the top of the door, and I'm about 5 foot 3, so I had to duck when you're getting in and out of the tent through this door. This door comes with a single latch to tie the door fabric up to keep it open, and it also comes with two black zippers to zip it open and shut. 
The screen room of this Evanston six-person tent comes with another one door. It spans almost the entire length of the screen room, measuring about 7 feet and 3 inches in length, so it's really quite big. It's about 55 inches in height, so a little taller, but I still had to duck when getting in and out of the screen room. The door of the screen room comes with two door latches, one on either side of the door, to hold the fabric when it's open. It also comes with three black zippers. If the front length of your screen room isn't taut, I highly recommend restating it so that zipping it open and shut is much easier. For storage, there are two pockets inside this Evanston 6 person tent, each measuring about 9 by 7 inches. There's also one loop at the top of the center of the tent where you can hang a lantern at night for some lighting. There's also one more loop here over one of the windows. I put this Evanston 6 person tent through quite a few rain tests, and if you want more details, you can check out this short video on my channel. But anyway, here's the gist of it. Under light rain, the Evanston tent worked great with no leaks, and I was able to leave not just the windows open, but also the door as well. But the flooring of the screen room got wet, because there just isn't enough rain fly to cover the entire screen room. Under heavy rainfall though, and I tested it using this water hose, this Evanston tent was able to stand up to the heavy rain for about 30 minutes and then I started noticing a few drops of water trickling in. This seam connecting the green tent fabric and the buffed up flooring was pretty much soaked after 30 minutes, though the fabric around the tent was still dry. The screen room is completely drenched though. Also, there's quite a big gap at the two edges of the screen room which let in quite a big puddle of water. I found this Evanston six-person tent quite well ventilated. On a hot day without the rain fly, which is removable from the outside, the three windows and especially the mesh wall is pretty big. And of course, the screen room has even more ventilation with the rain fly off. On a rainy day with the rain fly in place though, the mesh wall forms a vent which looks like this. It spans almost the entire length of the tent, which is nice. I was able to stake down the rain fly and leave this vent open in not just light rain, moderate rain, but heavy rain as well, and no water got into the tent. I was also able to leave all my windows and door completely opened in light to moderate rain, and no water got into the tent at all. In heavy rain though, even though the rain fly did quite a good job of protecting the window mesh from the heavy rain with these window awnings, the bottom of the mesh still got wet. The top was still fine though, so I could actually leave it slightly open. The flooring of this Evanston six-person tent is made of polyethylene and the bathtub feature extends up to about 7 inches. Even after 30 minutes of pouring rain, no water seeps through the flooring itself. The rain fly is made of 75D polyester taffeta while the rest of the tent is made of 68D polyester and it stayed completely dry after 30 minutes of heavy rain as well. All the seams inside the tent have not been seam taped and only some of them are inverted, like this green tent fabric to bathtub flooring seam, this vertical seam, and this white to green tent fabric seam. The seams of the Evanston tent are generally good quality, double stitched and consistent with maybe a few small exceptions but these were big issues to me. The mesh is just regular mesh, not no seam mesh, and it's decent quality. The zippers are also decent quality and all of them are catch free. I didn't have any snagging issues on the windows and also no snagging issues on both the tent door and also the screen room door. But one of my zippers didn't come with the attached cord though. All the poles of these Evanston tent are made of fiberglass and are color coded for a pretty easy setup. This Evanston 6 person tent has a packed size of 26 by 15 by 12 inches and here's what it looks like beside a Coleman 2 person sun dome tent and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle for a size comparison. It weighs about 19 and a half pounds for everything. For pros, I found the base area super generous in size. The dome tent has a base area of 83.6 square feet and the screen room has a base area of 42.3 square feet for a total base area of 126 square feet. This is actually about 20 square feet bigger than my Coleman Montana 8 person tent which has a base area of only about 103 square feet. Another humongous advantage of this Evanston tent is that it's super affordable. Even though it's bigger than some 8 person tents out there, I actually paid about 40 bucks less for my Evanston tent than I did for my Montana 8 person tent and my Red Canyon 8 person tent. I also really liked that I had quite a bit of ventilation, not just on hot days but rainy days as well because of these window awnings. Even in heavy rain, ventilation is not too bad. The rain protection is also decent. Obviously not the best but better than I expected. I still highly recommend at least sealing the buffed up flooring seam and also the corners if you're expecting many hours of heavy rain. I also liked that I was able to stand upright at the peak height. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. 
As for cons, I think the biggest one is that there's hardly any rain fly protection for the screen room, so even in light rain, water gets into the screen room, not to mention in heavy rain. If you want this to be protected, you'd need to buy an extra tarp or a canopy or something. Also, it was annoying to have to drain the water out of the screen room after the rain. I tried to use this mesh area as drainage, but it wasn't very good and I just had to sweep all the water off myself. The mesh area also traps a bit of dirt and grass when trying to pack up. A smaller con is that the pack size of this Evanston 6-person tent is as big as my Montana 8-person tent, and here's what they both look like together. But overall, I feel that the cons are pretty insignificant, especially compared to the advantages that you get in terms of having a humongous base area and how low the price of this tent is. I think it's great value for money, and I would definitely recommend this tent. But wait, before you buy this, would you like to know how this Evanston 6-person tent compares to other similar tents, like other Coleman tents? If so, you can click on this video right here. I'll put it up when it's ready, so do check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.